Alright, it's the beginning of October and the road to Halloween. And my first video is to do a movie review. And that is Scream 1. I just got done finishing it. It's a classic. Still held up in today's standards. The beginning of the movie starts with Drew Barrymore, legendary scene. The whole intro of the movie is better than the, the screen, the TV show. I don't know why they made one. It's, unless it was going to be the cast from the movies, but it didn't. Um, you have Neve Campbell as Sidney Prescott. You have David Arquette as... Dewey. You have Courtney Cox as Gail Weathers, a reporter who's trying to get the story of Neutral. <clears throat> got gum again. I gotta stop chewing. I gotta stop chewing gum during videos. She's reporting on murders because after a year ago. Her, Cindy's mother was murdered by two, I mean, by unknown people. And Cindy's still trying to get over it, but she can't. And Billy, her boyfriend, said, he just wants to get on pants, but he waits. He go, he waits. Cause that, he's a good guy like that, I guess. And then you have Matthew Matthew Lizard as Stu. So funny. The fun he's a he's the fun guy you want to hang out with, have a beer with. Um then you have Jamie Kennedy as what's his name? Randy. Randy. The guy he knows his horror movies because he watches them. There's certain rules to survive a horror movie back then the rules have changed in this generation which we will get to in screen 4 um so yeah the movie over the course of the, over the course of the movie you know like I said Sydney's still dealing with the death of um her mother they said she was raped and got killed and her best friend is um, Dewey's sister. I forgot her name. It's Rose Mc Rose McGwen. Rose McGwen. I don't know. Look it up. Yeah, she's the best friend of Sydney, and she she actually feels important to um, Sydney. And you actually kind of care for her when she dies. She dies by she's um. Attacked by the killer and she tries to go inside a I mean outside the garage door, but he pulls it up and she dies. Um so yeah. Dewey's sister actually feels important when she dies. Um you got Stu, the boyfriend of Dewey's sister. You know. Um before you find out the end, which I will get to, he is just a creepy, you know, funny guy you want to hang out with, like I said. And then you got Billy, Cindy's boyfriend, who's all this, it's also the same thing, but he's just creepy. Like his look, the emotions on his face. Like, you said, why does I got my best friend? But, it's just something about him that you like. Um, um, and let's talk about the tone of the movie. The way the movie starts, you know, the, the Drew Barrymore, she was actually supposed to be the um, main character, but she said she wanted somebody else to, um, she wanted Neve Campbell to play, knowing you that, because she was popular around that time. It said, even popular people should die, and not just in the 
at the end, at the beginning, to show you nobody is safe. And see, in the Wes, Wes Craven, rest in peace, who made this franchise, said okay. And then that's how we got the legendary opening scene. Um, Dewey, the cop, is, um, you know, trying to find out who's the killer of, of who's doing this, but he can't. Um, he's actually kind of funny. Um, he got, he gets stabbed by the killer in the back, which affects him walking in the future movies. Which we, we <clears throat> since we will get to them eventually, um, you got well, let's talk about who's the killers. The killers is Billy and Stu, and Cindy wants to know their motive. Billy said, Why does everybody have, have to have a motive? But the, the reason why, you know, Billy's doing it is because her mother was fucking her daughter. <laughs> daughter. Sydney's mother was fucking Billy's mother. Wait. Yeah, no. Sydney's mother was fucking Billy's father. There we go. And then the mother walked in. And she left him and left Billy. And Billy is a mama's boy. And that's the motive. Stu. Even at the time when. Because Cindy escapes. And she plays like she's the killer. And she asks Stu what's his motive. And he will say. He was going to tell the cops peer pressure. And that just made me kind of laugh. And I don't, use, and I don't like laughing that much. I don't like to laugh, but it happens. Um, um, it, it, that's it. Oh yeah, the tone. I didn't finish doing talking about the tone. Like you can feel the tone in the first movie. It's very different in my eyes from the. The second movie, the third, and fourth movies. It's just like the movie was going at a slow but steady pace. Like it wasn't feeling r- rust. Like you didn't say, oh, come on, is this movie over yet? But it was nice, steady pace, and you finally got there. Now, at one time, I had to look at the clock to see, was this movie over yet? Um. And that's it. Oh, duh! I forgot to talk about the ending. And the ending, Cindy kills Stu by flipping the TV onto his face, and Gail shoots Billy in the. Shoots him around his heart, heart area, and he goes down. And they both come up to him with Randy as well, saying, "This is when the killer comes back for one last scare." Billy goes. Billy does one last scare. And Sydney shoots him in the head, and she says, "Not in my movie." Good ending to a very movie. I give this movie a a, a minus. One thing they could have fixed is, um, one thing they could have fixed is, not really a nitpick, but, actually, no, I don't have anything to say about this movie. Nothing bad to say. So, actually, I'm going to end it there. You have failed the test.